So good evening to everyone and welcome to today's wonderful session. And we have Dr. Jitin Yadav, the topper of NEET PG 2020. Hi, Doctor. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. And uh, Dr. Jitin, uh, currently you are in uh, uh, which specialty, which college, and uh, uh, what is your NEET PG rank? So my rank is so 21. Rank. I'm doing MD medicine from the RMN Medical College. You, you are from which college, doctor? RMN Medical College. RML. Wonderful, wonderful. So generally, the students who get into the top 1,000 ranks, um, do they choose dermatology? Or uh, you have chosen dermatology by a special no, no, reason? No, no, I have. I am doing MD medicine. You, you are in MD gel medicine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just I okay. Am, I am here teaching the MD, uh, that dermatology, but I am doing MD medicine. I, I see, I see. Uh, so you are in MD general medicine, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So, but still, uh, you have shown interest in uh, a, a fight in uh, dermatology. That's really good. So I thought you are an MD dermatology, but you're an MD general medicine. That's wonderful, doctor. So um, uh, great. So we have Prakash, Sudha, Deepak, and many more who are all online. So please welcome for today's Neat PG fight with the Neat PG topper. That is Dr. Jitain is uh, kind enough to give his time to spend this wonderful evening with all of us. And uh, I wish we have many things to learn from uh, Dr. Jitain down the line. So let's make the great beginning, Doctor. So can I yes. start? Yeah, let us start. So uh, I love to know two to three important points as a need PJ topper. Uh, what do you want to offer? Um, for each of these uh, uh, 50 dermatology image-based MCQs we have today with Dr. Jitain. So what is your diagnosis, doctor, and what is the onset and when will this result? Yeah, uh, this is the case of several dermatitis. You can identify this by seeing the yellow color, color crust is seen there. You'll, you can identify it from there. The child is usually less than one month when the, it onsets and it is generally resolves by its own by one year. Wow, that's great. So this is seborrheic dermatitis. Ons onset is typically one week after birth. This is also called cradle cap. And uh, uh, they can be sorezy form lesions. Mostly this will resolve by one year of age. Absolutely. Five important points about seborrheic dermatitis. Now, what is your diagnosis of this exanthematous condition, doctor? Yeah, first of all, we have to see the lesions. Lesions is uh, red in color, and this is uh, most probably the uh, slab cheek appearance that is seen in the erythema infectiosum. That is mostly caused by parvovirus infection, where we can see the uh, sickle cell crisis, we can see, and some of the uh, people can present with athelgia also. Wonderful. So, slapped cheek appearance. That is a key feature of this exanthematous condition, which is erythema infectiosum and uh, parvovirus B19, school age children, self limited, 10% with arthralgias. And uh, parvovirus B19 can also cause hydrops fetalis. That is what we need to remember. Great. So, what is your diagnosis, doctor? Uh, this lesion generally involve the palms and soles, terminal disease. So we have your voice is coming a little low, doctor. Can uh, is there any way we can increase your volume of the mic? Any possibility? Sir, I'm increasing. Now it now it clear, sir. Ah, now it is a little better, but still, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll, it's I'll, a... will, I will speak louder, sir. Yeah. Uh, this so, is what is your diagnosis, doctor? This is the hand, foot, and uh, foot disease, and this is generally caused by ecovirus and some uh, ecovirus, coxsackie virus. Then coxsackie virus A16. Uh, ecovirus are very less uh, that cause um, this uh, disease. Uh, ecovirus 71, I think, is cause this. 
and then this disease can uh, be processed to myocarditis and all this so basically we have to know that in this that it is caused by coxsackie x16 virus great so this is hand foot mouth disease coxsackie virus a16 children less than 10 years and uh, it can lead to myocarditis is what we need to remember absolutely so this patient has arthralgia gi bleeding abdominal pain nephritis with hematuria one of the classical clinical vignette in the neat pg exam so what is your diagnosis doctor enok scolin purpura uh, when you see that there is arthralgia with abdominal pain and ig vasculitis then it is uh, and child is less than 10 year then you can go for diagnosis of hsp uh, it is very important this is the most common vasculitis that is seen in the children we see, we can see many confusion but this is the most common vasculitis coxsackie is the second after that it is the most common but hsp is the most common vasculitis wonderful so hanoch collins purpura typically patients will have uh, a sore throat like viral episode after that there is a florid development of this kind of palpable purpura which is vasculitic purpura of hanoch collins purpura is what we need to remember now in this condition exanthem is not there but painful gray vesicles on the tonsillar palate and buccal because are there what is your diagnosis doctor uh, this is the case of herpengia and this is caused by the ecovirus enterovirus uh, and some of the some of the rarely coxsi virus also can cause this uh, this is the generally painful conditions that's good so typically it is caused by enteroviruses herpengia 3 to 10 year old children are affected self limited and they are painful painful is a very important clue uh gray cycles on the tonsillar palate and buccal mucosa is what we need to remember now what are the can you give comprehensively what you are able to see in this what are each of these lesions and what is your diagnosis in the first lesion uh, we are seeing the polymorphous rash second lesion lesion we are seeing the lymphadenopathy third third lesion we are seeing that there is a edema and the tearing of the terminal uh, distal extremities and we are seeing the conjunctivitis and the lips uh, swelling and lips uh, uh, erosion we are seeing these all uh, lead to the diagnosis of coxsackie disease coxsackie disease coxsackie disease has uh, generally we have the fever for at least 5 days children should have fever for 5 days and we have these all these are all included in the criteria so out of six we have we should have at least five criteria to get the diagnosis and generally people in this disease uh, children in this disease die due to the uh, due to the uh, myocarditis or uh, myocarditis and occlusion of the coronary artery uh, great so typically kawasaki is also called mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome there is a polymorphous eruption which is more billy form erythema multiforme like there are dry fissured lips strawberry tongue very classical and heart attack in pediatric child child heart attack normally pediatric age group mein nahi hota hai agar hua to you should think of kawasaki because it lead to development of coronary aneurysm so as uh, dr jatin has rightly said five to six criteria so what are the different criteria jatin conjunctivitis palmo plantar edema uh, cervical lymphadenopathy and swollen lips or red tongues and fever should be there for at least 5 days absolutely absolutely doctor now what is your diagnosis looking at these lesions uh, this lesion most probably the case of measles uh, we can uh, lead to the diagnosis of this lesion by uh, looking that it is generally uh, go from post surgical lesion it starts and it uh, involves the body uh, measles is uh, one of the very uh, common that is seen in unvaccinated child if the vac- child is not vaccinated we get generally we give the measles at 9 month if the, if the child is not vaccinated then we will see the lesions generally people with the com- measles suffer the complication like otitis media and bacterial uh, infection can be there that lead to the pneumonia and there can be the myocarditis also Uh, beside it has the it lead to the progression of the great incru- long incubation period disease that is called uh, subsclerosing sclerosing pan encephalitis subcutaneous sclerosing 
appendicitis that is the longest complication that we get from the measles absolutely so this is classically the measles which is the rubella otherwise called the first disease we find erythematous macules and papules or the forehead it spreads downwards complex spots it is the measles virus which is paramyxovirus responsible and uh, uh, encephalitis or dysmenorrhea media subacute sclerosing panencephalitis pneumonia myocarditis they are all the possible complications now doctor a little louder voice doctor actually a louder voice and probably um a little slower uh, presentation i know that you are a very fast speaker um so little more louder uh, voice okay. is what shailaja okay. and uh, uh, everyone is requesting so uh, yes now yeah i think um, yeah this is, am i audible this, uh, now it is clear sir one minute one minute yeah yeah now clear yeah uh, now a little better yeah absolutely uh this now is there is a morbidly form eruption which can occur after treatment with ampicillin that is a very very important clue um um so what is your diagnosis for this uh this is the case of infectious mononucleosis actually when you use the ampicillin then there is a eruption of moniliform gas that is the case that is generally seen in the infectious mononucleosis this is caused by the strain uh, bar virus uh, this is the most common lesion with generally involve the lymph neuropathy will be there there will be the fever sore throat uh, and if you don't treat it lead to the progression of uh, the disease and it yeah, what happen there is a heterophile antibody mono uh, infection mononucleosis and there is a heterophile negative heterophile positive is caused by the strain bar virus the negative uh, there is a negative also caused by the cmv generally heterophile positive and we the we do the mono test for the infectious mononucleosis absolutely very good doctor so uh, it is a morbidly form arterial petechial erythema multiforme like lesions is what we see it is the epstein bar virus 15 to 25 years pharyngitis fatigue myalgia hepatosplenomegaly lymphadenopathy anything can happen in the infectious mononucleosis and it can even lead to splenic rupture a very important point that need to be remembered very good so these are the circular to elliptical rose red macules or papules involving the trunk occasionally surrounded by a white halo white halo sorry my question to you doctor is uh, uh, what is this white halo containing lesions remind you what is your diagnosis uh, this is the case of uh, erythema subitum uh generally this this we can diagnose there should be one more in this history that uh, generally it uh, uh, rashes uh, uh, generally appear after the fever recites this is the main condition that will be, this is also known as the sixth disease and it is the infectious is known as the fifth disease very good so uh in dermatology uh, as a neat pg topper uh, 2020 how many marks you got doctor uh to get uh, 260 your rank is 260 251 251 251 rank wow almost uh, 2 lakh medical students compete for the most competitive entrance in the world um uh, in uh, medical licensure and dr jatin uh, must be it, it must be a very proud moment in your life when you got that 251 right yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, did you anticipate that you are going to become uh, a topper even before the results came how was that um, no i just, actually nobody knows the what the rank uh, uh, the one student is going to get in the exam uh, when the result come i would check for one to two three times that uh, it is true or false <laughs> then after checking the result we go that yes we got the rank then it <laughs> they reflect uh, the happiness and all the that the uh, hard work we have done that will reflect in our result wow aapko 
पहले अटेम्प्ट में ही आ गया या यू टुक अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स बिफोर यू गॉट नो फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आई गॉट 3000 रैंक 3100 रैंक देन आई रिपीट वाह एंड आई एम आई एम रियली प्राउड टू नो दैट एंड रियली थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस सेशन विद अ वेरी शॉर्ट नोटिस एंड इन फैक्ट इनका स्ट्रांगली बिलीव्स we all about two decades back we were the toppers and we had a chance yeah, to yeah. make a lot of people become toppers in the past 23 years almost 2 lakh medical students i had an opportunity and a fortune to be their teacher so today's generation students insecurities of life you know today a lot of students are depressed that four months it got uh, delayed so you have some message uh to tell to the students who feel anxious uh that uh, i'm uh, we get regularly calls that sir kya hai hamara zindagi mein kya ho raha hai entrance aur ek baar delay ho gaya what is your what is your advice to them dr jitendra yadav as a topper actually uh, exam postponed ho gaya hai par it's okay keep con- uh, continuously padhte raho Uh, make the schedule while sleeping make the schedule what will you do tomorrow main is that to make schedule you should have proper schedule for four months how to go like while sleeping you have to memorize all the thing that you have studied all day and keep uh, uh, schedule for tomorrow this will keep you going uh, throughout your uh, uh, four month and it will complete no, no no need to worry about that everybody is facing same problem the pandemic is there so everybody is facing so no need to worry about that great so as a 250 plus stopper uh, ranker in the neat pg probably when you are preparing last year you also had moments of depression so how you yeah, yeah. what is the secret uh, did you go and have a shower or did you go to yoga and meditation in himalayas how did you overcome that sort of a sense of depression while preparing anxiety kya hoga how you used to overcome dr jitain maybe your personality maybe uh, naturally you are like a yogi punga uh, but uh, uh, for most students uh, i mean can you tell some trick of the trade on how to overcome the anxiety yeah yeah uh, while we are preparing we have faced many problems like that we suffer from depression we, we don't know what will going to happen will get rank or not but best way is that when you are feeling depressed close the light and talk to your parents talk to your family uh matlab family means only your matlab not other relative if you talk to relative they will uh, tell you another thing and they will depress you maybe but only tell talk to the person that are positive they don't uh, talk to the your friend who are positive who you regularly discuss this will help you to overcome all the difficulty that you are facing and give the test main is give, giving test you have to give always the test uh, so that you know that where you stands and guide t- test you have to evaluate you don't get, you should not get depressed that you are getting rank that is the only practice match in practice match everybody fails but well you do practice too much then you will get good marks in the uh, main exam absolutely that's really wonderful uh, um doctor so continuing our discussion so uh what is your diagnosis doctor for this uh erythema subitum is the diagnosis that is known as sick disease generally what happen the uh, fever uh, resides and the rash appear that we also get in the history in the exam and the white hello it is surrounded by white hello and it's uh, this is also known as sick disease great so fever stops rash appears that is a most important thing that we need to remember when it comes to the uh, uh, exanthem subitum which is also called the sixth disease the roseola and there are rose red macules human herpes virus six need to be remembered six months to three years sudden onset of high fever so these are all uh, the points to be remembered and uh, when it comes to roseola the main complication is there can be seizures that's the only thing now doctor these are erythematous macules and papules on the face which are spreading acrily they are accompanied by tender lymphadenopathy which is occipital postauricular cervical so what is your diagnosis doctor uh, it is a case of rubella 
Gugu River la generally accompanied the tender lymph node pathology that is oc mainly it is oc occipital and post auricular rubella uh, generally uh, gen- rubella is very important disease in the children generally it it uh, affect the heart also if it, it affect the eye also congenital rubella syndrome is there where the teeth are, uh, that uh, cataract will be there pda will be um, uh, there beside the expanded rubella syndrome is also there uh, that is uh, generally Uh, lead to the myocarditis then lymphadenopathy all will be included in that beside this uh, rubella virus is uh, included in the toga virus that is generally asked in one of the neat exam absolutely so rubella is also called german measles or third disease there is a tender lymphadenopathy it is a toga virus which is single stranded rna which is responsible and arthralgia arthritis myocarditis pneumonia any of them can very much happen now there is a erythema in the axilla in the neck and the chest there is a sand pipe paper like appearance hand and foot show desquamation and you are seeing pastea slides which are the linear petechial streaks in the body folds and orally there is a red strawberry tongue so what is your diagnosis doctor uh this is a case of scarlet fever Generally, it is di- pastea lines is diagnostic for the scarlet fever. Characteristic for the scarlet fever. Generally, scarlet uh, scarlet fever uh, generally we see in the children and it is also known as the second disease. Uh, scarlet fever is uh, uh, generally caused by one of uh, can caused by the diphtheria also. And same li- same fever like uh, uh, reason is seen in the streptococcal infection also. Great. So scarlet fever. typically it is the group a beta hemolytic streptococci which are mainly responsible and uh, between 1 to 10 years of age and treatment is with the um, uh, penicillin and if penicillin is allergic erythromycin is considered to be the management now what is your diagnosis in this given case doc uh this is the case of uh, varicella Uh, there is a red uh, irritable and there is a dew drop appearances rose petal appearances is a dew drop on rose petal appearances seen that is erythematous base will be there with the uh, vesicles will be there so it is a classical case of varicella generally varicella uh, has the uh, infective two days uh, after uh, before and after uh, two day five days after uh, rash and generally this is also lead to the complication like secondary bacterial infection like pneumonia can be there if you don't treat it will be fatal for the disease generally it uh, resolves by its own very good so varicella is the chicken pox dew drops on the rose petal is the buzzword that we need to remember and the very important thing is called a pleomorphic rash that is you find all stages of the development of the rash and um, varicella zoster virus um, basically chicken pox in the remains forever in our body in a in, uh, in the form of varicella um zoster as all of you know very well now doctor once more what is the diagnosis uh this uh, this is again the case of varicella with a pleomorphic lesion i think right this is once more the case of varicella dew drops on the rose petal rose petal that is what you need to recognize in the tomorrow's uh, neat pg exam so doctor before that i like to ask you last year neat pg what is the proportion of uh, image based questions uh, i think uh, there will i think 50 questions are image based last year Out around 50 there yeah 50 questions are there but now i think the question pattern has changed they have changed to 200 question last year they have asked 300 question Our questions are very lengthy they have shifted to the clinical type questions i see i see and uh, now one question i like to ask you right from mbbs first year you used to be that uh, all distinction all gold medal kind of ga- guy or suddenly you transformed by a uh, double mutation like coronavirus what happened uh, uh, yeah no i have not studied in first year second year third year. i have started my study in third year uh, but i don't start preparing generally for passing the exam i have started first year i don't study at all and 
intensive i have studied thoroughly thoroughly for the exam so i got 3000 at that time so i thought to repeat that i have not given my 100% so i thought to repeat no need to study for all of them you know the, i think the camp, uh, competition has increased previously there is no marrow and nothing at all so we study in the internship and then we get the rank uh, good rank in the uh, neat pg now the mm-hmm. after uh, one year when i studied then i got uh, this rank and i was very happy for that good so you are actually naturally a very cheerful human being it looks like uh, in the sense that yeah. uh, i always tell the students that A lot of us, we feel that our whole world will be closed after the PG. But the PG is also closed in the world. So we are going to be in this world. So we are entering into that donkey ship called uh, MD. There are so many unreasonable pressures, stresses. Patients will put you on stress. Chief will put you on stress. And you don't get time to open Harrison's internal medicine. so the most enjoyable period always is when we are preparing for entrance so there is a reason i always tell the students that enjoy the journey don't feel anxious just because uh, you know we we kind of coaching gurus eh? jara youtube mein jyada clicks milega bolke breaking news that news that news bolke uh, youtube uh, release karte hain but actually life is not that in the real life is not like that so good very good very good good to know that uh, you are not gautama buddha from day 1 in uh, mbbs so that at least it is a little reassurance for the guys like us uh, who are uh, who only wake up in internship that's good a good idea at least uh, encouraging news for everybody so doctor let's continue with the next question so which trace element deficiency and what is the diagnosis uh, this is the uh, case of echodermatitis enteropathica and this is the caused by the generally the zinc deficiency and there is the one gene uh, gene is associated with slc 5c and a gene is associated with this then we provide the zinc uh, supplement for this uh, side of this uh, patients great so echodermatitis enteropathica now here you are able to see few calvarial lesions you are also see the lesions inside the uh, hrct and you are able to see the beer bag granules here and also there are lesions on the skin so what is your diagnosis doctor uh, this is the case of langer cell histocytosis uh, it has got uh, three variant like less than 2 year the liver ct disease will be there 2 uh, to 2 to, uh, to uh eight year uh, will be the case of uh, uh, christian uh, do uh, christian uh, dubillian disease and more than uh, three more than eight year will be in adult we'll see the eosinophilic granuloma great so typically these are the skin lesions of the langerhans cell histiocytosis so what is the typical uh, based on this distribution uh, which infection possibly is responsible for this uh generally uh, uh, it uh, inter intertissue area is involved so it is the case of candidiasis i think very good so this is the case of uh, um, candidiasis uh, happening in uh, pediatric age group now you are able to see a typical uh, skin lesion uh, one minute uh, you are able to see a typical uh, uh skin lesion uh so based on the skin lesions what is that uh, torch group of infection responsible for uh, this lesion doctor so can i see to another image sir yeah one of the torch group of infections t o r c h torch torch s t o r c h candidate infections that is the one which is responsible for this uh, lesion so what is your diagnosis torch infection this is a case of syphilis so we need to remember uh, it is the syphilitic regates that's what you are able to classically see now what are these lesions that you are able to see here uh 
on plucking out that silvery scale there is an underlying bleed so, so what is your diagnosis doctor uh psoriasis this is a case of psoriasis uh, generally it involves the extensor area uh, extensor area is in generally involve if it involve the flexor area there will be no scales and it is known as inverse psoriasis then steroid is contract contraindicated in this uh, uh, except the pustular psoriasis very good so basically approximately 1/4 of the psoriatic patients they have presentation before the age of 50 they present as a erythematous well demarcated plaques with a micaceous scale then one entity called guttate psoriasis this is more common in the children they have a rain drop like rain drop like uh, eruptive pattern and commonly guttate psoriasis is because of uh, streptococcal infection stress trauma and viral infection now what is your diagnosis doctor Uh, this is the case of atopic dermatitis. Uh, generally, the case of child that involves the cheek area, cheek area. Uh, an adult, the area will be different. Then, an antecutal area will be involved. Then, it is the flexor area is involved. In children, there is extensor area. In infants, extensor area will be involved. Uh, there is a adjunct criteria will be there for the diagnosis of atopic dermatitis. Very good. So, atopic dermatitis. Five to six points we need to remember. Triad of atopy. That is the atopic dermatitis, allergic rhinitis, and asthma is called the triad of atopy. And uh, egg, milk, soya bean, fish, wheat, peanut, anything can lead to. And because of the continuous itching, there is a lichenification. And uh, where is the atopic dermatitis distributed? Very very important question. Common age group, remember, in the case of the pediatrics, two to three months of age. and it is the face the scalp and the extensors whereas in the case of the children it is the anti cubital popliteal fossa and in the adults typically it is the hands that is the chronic hand eczema that is the typical presentation of the atopic dermatitis is what you need to remember now doctor what is this common diagnosis that that you see when the children are entering into their puberty uh this is the case of petrisis alba Uh, generally this case should be differentiated from inter intermediate uh, leprosy because they have the same lesions but uh, petrisis alba has the scales and there will be no any uh, neurological and any neurological changes in the child so we can differentiate from the intermediate leprosy great so commonly petrisis alba even in the neat pg one of the favorite mcq bihar se ek chota bimu ko ऐसा लिजेंस हो गया इसका डायग्नोसिस क्या है बोल के फेवरेट ऑल इंडिया पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एंट्रेंस वंस अपॉन ए टाइम एवरी टाइम यू गो फॉर एआईपीसी देयर मस्ट बी अ क्वेश्चन ऑन पिटरियासिस अल्बा सो उतना स्टैंडर्ड है सो देयर आर हाइपो पिगमेंटेड पैचेस विद मिनिमल स्केलिंग एंड इट इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ एटोपिक डर्मेटाइटिस एक्चुअली देन सर्टेन इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्प्लिकेशंस एसोसिएटेड विद Pityriasis is all by you should remember. Keratoconus can be associated, eyelid dermatitis, and also increased risk of infection like impetigo, eczema, herpeticum, and molluscum contagiosum. So we treat it with topical corticosteroids, topical calcineurin inhibitors, and a short course of the oral steroid, oral antihistamine, and phototherapy. Now, doctor, what are these umbilicated lesions talk about? uh this is the case of molluscal contagion this is classically there is a presence of pearly white lesions are there uh, that has central implications there is uh, only four types of mcb mc1 mc2 mc3 mc4 and mostly caused by mcb1 uh, generally uh, these are not uh, they this can be not regularly transmitted sexually but this can be transmitted sexually also one time need be asked that uh, uh, this transfer sexually or not this transfer sexually also uh, generally they are present in cluster also uh, these are there. Great, that's wonderful. So, typically, molluscum contagiosum is often seen in the children, young adults, pearly white, wart-like lesions, and they have eosinophilic hyaline inclusion bodies. Classical, the molluscum bodies is what we need to remember. Now, what is this lesion in your diagnosis, doctor? Ah, uh, that is a. Uh... 
remember now this patient has brown macules increased number of melanocytes no relation to sunlight so what is your diagnosis doctor uh this is the case of lentigens in lentigens there is a increased number of melanocytes and there is no relation to sunlight we have to differentiate this from freckles then in freckles what when there is a uh, no increase in the melanocytes and uh, if it, uh, then the only the melanin will be increase in the uh, that lesion very good so lentigens are they present as brown macules with increased number of melanocytes but no relation to sunlight now uh, there are ekg changes ecg changes ocular hyperpilorism in this patient pulmonary stenosis can be associated abnormal genitalia with florid multiple lesions like this so also growth retardation can be associated what is the diagnosis yeah this is the case of classical case of leopard uh, syndrome uh, generally it is associated with the ptp and 11 gene mutation you have to remember and it is autosomal in nature uh, very good so this is a case of uh, the leopard syndrome and uh, uh, there can be ocular hyperpilorism pulmonary stenosis abnormal genitalia and growth retardation good now my question to you doctor once more a lot of times students have this trouble so many syndromes which we have never seen in life my abhi tak zindagi mein um i have seen neuro tuberous sclerosis only one case of tuberous sclerosis i have seen till now so lot of times we read 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 a lot it is like a academic uh, imagination and uh, um hallucination so how do you used to manage uh, to remember this kind of nasty things we are born to forget or dump it after we get the seat into md how do you used yeah. to manage that Uh, actually the syndrome i used to ask to other person when i remember some syndrome i used to ask my friend are you what is the syndrome then we, when I, you keep on asking uh, you the, the thing that you don't remember then you automatically remember that when you keep on asking to that are uh, this syndrome has got this this you have to basically uh, make the photos and paste on your wall also if you want to but basically i want to say you don't waste time in the syndromes matlab there is rare chances that only heart syndrome will be asked they ask is this syndrome that you may know generally so this is only for that if you want to remember the ask your friends or uh, keep uh, speaking that syndromes 10 times or while sleeping you can uh, speak that syndrome you will remember that so this is a very good trick uh, even i used to practice uh, when i was preparing for entrance a uh, syndrome jo hota hai hum isko bolte hain ak47 gun reading room ko gaye to pehla ak47 nikalte निकाल के जो भी ज्यादा पोज मार रहे मुझे वो मालूम है ये मालूम है वी टू स्टार्ट थ्री टू फोर सिंड्रोम्स ये भी मालूम नहीं है क्या ये भी मालूम नहीं है क्या खत्म वो बंदा मर गया सो दिस वी यूज टू यूज इट टू डिप्रेस अदर क्लासमेट्स एंड इन द प्रोसेस सम क्लासमेट्स यूज टू बी स्मार्टर देन एस दे यूज टू टेल हे आई आई रिमेंबर दिस विद दिस निमोनिक रे दैट निमोनिक रे दैट्स ओनली वे वी ऑल नीड टू master this before we become toppers wonderful point of that so uh dr jiten yadav today gave two secrets of a topper and uh, most important thing is from dr jiten i am not flattering but honestly telling you you are a personality of uh, uh, that uh, tranquility pleasantness and uh, stability which is the real ability nobility and agility so i i really appreciate that 
for a few people that comes naturally with personality they are born and gifted with and few people need to practice that and should not think that entrance exams topping they are not end all and be all of life you know there are many more challenges every day md general medicine means you belong to a blood group i am also md general medicine so every day life is a new challenge after we do the post graduation also so that is really wonderful doctor so now somatomatous melanotic schwannomas with cardiac cutaneous myxomas with blue nevi with endocrine overactivity so what is your diagnosis uh, this is the case of carney complex uh, carney complex is autosomal uh, in uh, nature and the percari one gene will be there and there will be endocrine activities then hyperparathyroidism uh, will be there then the cutaneous syndrome is there and there and the cardiac cutaneous myxoma will be there and sonoma will be there generally it should be syndrome with the uh, carney uh, syndrome that generally the git is uh, uh, generally deals with the git is things like that uh, uh, gist will be there great so carney's complex it is also called lamb syndrome or name syndrome is my somatomatous melanotic schwannomas cardiac and cutaneous myxomas blue nevi and endocrine overactivity so these all the components now doctor there is mucocutaneous oral and acral linkages intestinal polyps are rare intussusception can be an associated feature and it is autosomal dominant and stk11 gene serine threonine kinase given all this close to you what is your diagnosis doctor uh, it is a case of pure jagger syndrome uh, we can uh, uh, diagnose that with the seeing that lips has got melanosis it will be there and there is a uh, 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 intestinal polyp is there beside uh, it uh, our histology also they ask in histology we get that arborizing pattern will be there great so the pure jagger syndrome classically which shows the mucocutaneous lentigers now looking at this what is your diagnosis uh, this is the case of freckles that i have already said we have to differentiate it from the lentigers in lentigers there is an increased number of melanocytes but here melanocytes will be normal only the pigment is increased so you have to uh, differentiate this so in the freckles you mean to say only there is an increased pigment yes sir there is a lentigers you mean to say there are increased melanocytes right yes sir right so epiphytes or freckles there are those light brown macules in the sun exposed area fair skinned children it is the uv induced damage and the number the number of melanocytes is normal please don't forget dr jetin's uh, uh, favorite point that we all learned today there is only an increased pigment in the keratinocytes that is differentiated between freckles versus the lentigers is what we need to remember that's good now doctor uh yeah what is your diagnosis the answer is at birth or first year typically so what is your diagnosis Uh, this is case of congenital lewis generally first you have to know that there is a abcd rule for the uh, melanoma there is a abcd rule for the melanoma uh, they ask that oh, abcd is rule for which then it is for the melanoma in the congenital lewis this has got different different sizes uh, uh, more than 20 cm has the chance of converting into the cancer very frequently so what is this abcd rule doctor a for asymmetry b for border c for uh, color D for diameter. Very good. A for asymmetry, B for border, C for color. Where where there is a variegated variegation in the color, and D for diameter. Typically, we need to remember. Very good. So congenital nevus, they are called small when less than one point five. One point five to two, you call medium, and very large means more than twenty centimeters. Is what we need to. remember now in this you find chemino bodies which are pass plus globules and if you do dermoscopy there is a star burst appearance in this so what is this diagnosis 
this is a case uh, it speeds nevus uh, generally this uh, has the uh, radius uh, uh, which nevus is it what is this called it speeds nevus okay yeah sorry whenever my finger my hand touches the uh, uh, what you call the mouse uh, it moves yes, on okay please so it's called spitz nevus very good so you should remember camino bodies camino yes. bodies and star based dermo dermato dermoscopic appearance is a classical feature is also called spindle cell nevus very good this is one of the favorite mcq doctor if you take uh, last uh, four to five uh, times aims and pgi and fmg question papers this often used to come this is a acquired unilateral lesion in the adolescent male typically on the shoulder with hyperpigmented hyper trichotic tri patches so what is your diagnosis doctor uh, this is a case of baker nevus generally this case present in the adults with in the seborrheic area uh, with the hyperpigmentation and melanosis like condition will be there very good so often there is a underlying smooth muscle hematoma there is an increased melanin in the epidermis in this uh, becker's nevus now what is your diagnosis doctor uh, nevus of ito this is the case of nevus ito there is nevus ito and nevus ota nevus ito then involve the shoulder area and the back area whereas the nevus of ota involve the uh, leaves eyes uh, then involve the face area we have to differentiate two from uh, each other very good so ito and ota so nevus of ito is also called the nevus fusco cerulius acromio deltoideus oh my god to become a neat pg topper you also need to learn a bit of latin hebrew greek right so uh, the presentation is similar to nevus of ota but this typically involves the shoulder area is what we need to remember now what is your diagnosis doctor of this nevus which is involving the ocular area uh, nevus of ota this is the case of nevus of ota that's right so nevus of ota uh, typically seen in the asian population in mainly in the women and uh, it presents as a unilateral blue gray macules our biochemistry professor used to have it and when we reach a pathology we were all thinking that maybe that's a subconjunctival hemorrhage and uh, some domestic violence from her husband that's how we used to do character assassination of our teachers so uh, good so doctor what is your diagnosis and what is the associated neurocutaneous syndrome with this uh, this is f slip macules and generally it is due to the tuberous sclerosis and the patient has the case uh, come the history of epilepsy and the low iq mental retardation and seizure will be there very good so ashley spots of tuberous sclerosis uh the shape is that of the ash leaf they are hypopigmented three or more lesions suggest the tuberous sclerosis is what we need to remember now what's your diagnosis doctor uh it is a case of pyvaldism uh, because it involves the forehead area and the some area of the temporal area some of the part only uh, there is graying of the hair uh, looking at this we can see that is a pyvaldism very good so this is a case of pyvaldism where there is a leucoderma white forelock polyosis deep pigmented patches with islands of normal to hyperpigmented macules so here you can see this a island island of uh, uh, hyperpigmented patch the pyvaldism is what we need to remember so very good to see kirtu deepak anita shailaja and many more who are all online uh keep punching your answers and also your comments doctor one day i want deepak kirtu anita shailaja all of you to become uh i am like uh, this is like kaun banega karod pati show kaun banega pg pati show so i have an opportunity to um have one session with uh, the topper um on this uh, youtube channel show so tomorrow when you become toppers 
please come and tell the world that how khelte khelte you became topest and how you managed the insecurities the way dr jitan yadav is today adding a lot of courage to us and reality the truth he is telling them how uh, he 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 has evolved from a, a joyful student in first year to third year and became a little serious when he reached internship that's very important right so that's good now doctor uh, what is this syndrome similar to pyval disorder uh, this is a case of wardenbox syndrome Uh, the new order order box syndrome also has the uh, similarly like paralysis will be there hypertelorism will be there uh, changes in the heterochromia disease will be there then this is a four types we have to remember these only to diagnose great so a white forelock with a depigmented patches along with heterochromia iridis this is called heterochromia iridis this is called wartenberg syndrome Now, what is this clinical sign? What are you doing, and uh, where do you see this? Ha, uh, this is a case of button sign. In which we press the lesion, and if it slip away, then it will be positive. Like we have seen, we pressing that the lesion has a slip away. This is a case of the neurofibromatosis. Very good. So the button hole sign of neurofibromatosis. Now, this is a non-Langerhans cell histiocytosis with Taunton Jane cells. So. Typically seen in first year of life. So, what is your diagnosis, doctor? Ah, uh, this is a case of juvenile genital granuloma. Where we Very see good. Total so, cell. Excellent. So, this is a case of juvenile xantho granuloma where you find Taunton giant cells, and uh, there is a regression that is typically seen if it is occurring in the pediatric population. In the eye, iris can be involved. and it can have an association with neurofibromatosis type 1 and very important is myelomonocytic leukemia so jmml juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia can be associated with uh, juvenile xantho granuloma is what we need to remember now doctor what is this condition and where you see the beerbeck granules Uh, we have already discussed that this is a case of langer cell histocytosis uh, barbe granules are seen there they are spindle shaped granules very good so the beer beck granules then another very favorite question of the examiner is langer hans cell histocytosis what are the important markers s100 plus cd 1a plus then on electron microscopy you have beer beck granules comma shaped nuclei so this is the clonal proliferative problem of langer hans now what is this condition one of the variant of langer hans cell histiocytosis where multi system involvement is there onset before 2 years this kind of small pink pustules papules vesicles in the seboric seboria seboric distribution so what is your diagnosis doctor a uh, little severe disease generally uh, patient uh, is uh, before 2 years of age uh, we can diagnose little severe disease this is a multi system there will be a multi system involvement very good so it is a multi system disorder so these are the classical lesions and um, small pink papules pustules vesicles in a seboric distribution is classically the lateral sui now what is this diagnosis where you are able to find calvarial defects classically which type of uh, langer hans cell histiocytosis doctor uh hans sulver christian disease uh, where we can see that isothelmia with your calvarial defect with diabetes insipidus will be there great so hans sulver christian onset is before 2 to 6 years the typical triad diabetes insipidus bone lesions and exophthalmos along with osteolytic bone lesions we need to remember now what is this type of langer hans cell histiocytosis where onset is in older children asymptomatic granular matter lesions involving the cranium spontaneous fractures what is your diagnosis doctor sorry uh, this this is the case of isonophilic granuloma generally uh, this will be chronic 
and uh, unifocal this is chronic and unifocal whereas the hand sular crescent disease will the uh, chronic and multifocal will be there wonderful so uh, that's right it's a case of isnophilic granuloma onset is uh, typically seen in the older children and uh, uh, it is a lch variant now the last question for the today's evening doctor what is your diagnosis uh, this is the case of dermoid cyst then we are seeing the uh, swelling near the uh, corner of the eye this is a case of dermoid cyst very good and uh, if you come across a kid with uh, dermoid cyst do you want to evaluate further uh, or want to discover whether there is any intracranial lesion yeah yeah we we can, we have to do ct mri to rule out the lesion so that uh, cranial it has involved cranial lesion or not that's great so typically it is seen in infants lined by stratified squamous epithelium and um, uh, ct mri should be performed to rule out the connection to the cns is what you need to remember so that brings us to the end of this uh, wonderful session thank you thank you thank you so much uh, dr jatin i hope uh, you to have enjoyed uh, yes. spending with our students and uh, all of our students across the country starting from waha ke punjab se niche kanyakumari tak aur yaha ke gujarat se waha ke bangal tak dr murli bharadwaj uh, uh, and his students required dr jatin uh, jitan jitan to uh, give his time uh, much more uh, more number of times we will have a discussion and some good cases uh, whenever uh, you come across in the hospital kindly capture them and we will also have yes. to case discussions yeah so yes. one last question before we uh, sign out doctor uh, yeah one minute one last question uh, before we sign out what is your dream specialty uh, after md yeah i am thinking to do the cardiology but uh, but i don't know what will going to happen in this remaining two year <laughs> oh yeah that's right so uh, we will also have some more sessions of uh, neat pg super specialty uh sessions also uh and uh, some of my students who are doing the dm first year in cardiology are going to join the session we will have 2d echo and uh, uh, many more uh, discussions and uh, vinno vinay and many more who are all the part of this uh, today's uh, evening and once more tomorrow 10 o'clock we are all meeting with the next neat pg topper spending one hour of time with us and encouraging us and giving additional confidence god bless you dr jitin and uh, we will have many more sessions along with you uh, uh, to encourage the students yeah thank you okay sir thank you sir